Hey everybody, welcome to Jay Speak. This week we cover questions. First question, I need a high quality attenuator. Would a two notes reload be the unit I should buy? Probably not. The two notes reload does a lot of different things, but to use it as just an attenuator, to me really doesn't make a lot of sense. If you want to expand into, you know, direct recording or reamping and you need an attenuator, I, I think it's a great unit. I think just the standard two notes like capped her or Captor X, a Sur attenuator, a Weber attenuator. Those those are really good. The THD units. I don't even know if they still make those, but if you can get them used, they were great units. I've had a couple of those over the years. I wouldn't necessarily buy the two notes reload just for attenuation. There's other units out there now that that's too much unit just for that. And it's bigger and bulkier. I, I don't think that's the best choice. And then they, and the captor units, they're okay, but a negative 20 dB drop. And I think you really just have to make sure that depending on the amp, and you mentioned you use Marshall and Hyatt. So I'd say the captors are probably good for that just because you're using louder amps. That should work well. Question two, have I played Zach Wild guitars or Schechter guitars? No, I have not played any Zach Wild guitars. I know he's got guitars out there, but I have not played them. Schechter's, I have not played one. I think it's been a few years since I've tried one. When I did play them, I, I thought they were, you know, pretty, pretty decent. I mean, they might benefit from like an electronic swap or something, but Overall, they felt pretty cool. Kind of being interested in a couple models, but I haven't I haven't pulled up trigger on them. But they make pretty looking guitars. So, you know, that's what it's all about. As long as it's pretty, we buy it. Question three, the Supro Hampton. Why are the knobs in the wrong spot? <laughs> Did I get a prototype of the run? No, I, I had bought that probably when they came out or around when they came out. And that's that's been a few years now. You know, the Supro guitars are interesting. They play really well. Uh, they definitely have a different vibe and a different feel. I really didn't have a problem with them. I think it's more of like a different aesthetic, really. So if you're okay with that, they're a really nice alternative to some other things. I didn't get a prototype or anything. It was just a standard run. Now that's a few years old now, so they, they could have changed some things since since I had that one. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. As always, thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Many more videos to come. Don't miss one sub.